I, uh, I have uh, I've moved back to the suburbs. That's what I've done. That's my big life change. No kids, no marriage. I just live back in the suburbs. That's, that was my big whole thing. And I thought I was going to do great. Because uh, it's weird. Like, I mean, suburbs not what you hear a <laughs> super cool guy talk about. Uh, but no, I, I thought, I, you know, what my reasoning was, like, I'm from the suburbs. And I was like, OK, yeah, maybe it's just, you know, middle age. It's OK, it's okay to, like, cool down and stop trying to die every night. Uh, <laughs> but that's, I'm, I'm from a town called Addison, Illinois. That's where I'm from. It's outside of Chicago. It doesn't matter. It's the same suburb. Whatever suburb you're thinking of, that's the one. <laughs> They're not different. You know, they're not different. <laughs> Mine has a 31 flame. D nope, nope, they're all the same one. You know, they're all, it's, it's everywhere. Is, is, is it a poorly marked exit across nine lanes of highway that you gotta <laughs> just cut off, you know, semi-trucks? Like, God damn it! <laughs> Get on some clover leaf that just plops you out right between a TGI Fridays and a Chili's. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> There's always a family in the parking lot between those two restaurants, confused. Yeah, every time, every time. <laughs> it's always just the dad. He's always just like. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but which one's got that prolapsed onion thing I like so much? <laughs> All of them, Daryl, only the sauce is different. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the one. My, par my parents still live there. My parents are still in the same house I grew up in. I guarantee you, they're in that house right now, at this very moment. Just both in separate rooms, three televisions, all playing HGTV. <laughs> at different volumes, just to fill in the void where conversation used to live. Just, just property brothers echoing like the national anthem in a baseball stadium. <laughs> Have you thought about a French drain? French drain, French drain. <laughs> they're great, <laughs> they're there, they're, you know, they're just old and crazy, you know, parents are. Out there, I still, still, I still love him. I still talk to him, but it's you know, it gets tough. My mom, oof, how do we say this? Uh, verbose is not a long enough word <laughs> to describe how my mother abuses the privilege of conversation. Does it? <laughs> is that too mean? Is that? Is that is it, let's put it this way: the woman tells a story the same way a Rube Goldberg machine cracks an egg into a frying pan. Does that make more sense? <laughs> You're gonna get that omelet, but you're gonna take a lot of unnecessary twists and turns to get there. <laughs> What's that, an example? You got it, Minneapolis. Um, I, uh... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta grease it. Uh... <laughs> I, I called her up. Uh, when I call her, I know that I've made the first mistake. So I just, I clear my schedule, I get snacks and waters around me, and I'm like, all right, here we go. Time to hit the space station. You know, you just get, get your necessities around you and strap in. And I called her up. And uh, I called her. I, I, I start optimistically. I'm going to start with good energy. And I call her, and I was like, okay. I was like, hey, ma. That's how I started. Hey, ma. Good energy. That's just, and that's how I called. She answered the phone, heard me go, hey, ma. And then her response, she just goes, ugh. <laughs> Right there, I was like, I do not have enough snacks. <laughs> we are not gonna make it around the moon on this one. <laughs> she goes, as if she's been preparing for this, she goes, ugh, Kyle. <laughs> she goes, do you know the game Words from Friends? <laughs> now, I know that game's called Words with Friends. But I don't want to correct her. That's going to add time on the clock. That's what we're trying to avoid. All right? Talking to my mom, it's improv rules. Yes, and. You just got to agree and push forward. It's the only way. Anything, anything said is the truth, and that's the reality now. So you just 
accept and move forward. Words from friend, I'm like, yeah, mom, it's like Scrabble. She goes, Kyle, it's like Scrabble. And then she spent the next 20 minutes describing the game of Scrabble to me. That's a game that we've played together. I blacked out. I came to, I don't know how much longer later, the house smelled delicious. I think I made a frittata, I'm not sure. when she was reaching what she knew was the logical conclusion of her introduction. This was, this was the finish line for her all along. She goes, so anyway, Liz had to have three feet of her lower intestine removed. How she got there? From fucking phone scrabble? I have no idea. And I'll never know. If you have an idea, hit me up. Just, you know what? Give it to the kids. They, they're imaginative. If you're a teacher, even just a parent, just try, hey, creative writing exercise today, kids. Take out a pen and paper. We're gonna try something different, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna start here, all right? Words from friends. What? Nope, I know it's wrong. Work it into the piece. We're starting here. Now we wanna land here at intestinal removal. That's where we're gonna end. And if you can get there in 5,000 words or less, a Pulitzer Prize, probably, I don't know. At least a full ride to a state school, I can't. I've had this shit up on the bulletin board for weeks. This is like some goodwill hunting type shit. I have no idea. But good on her for having it make sense, you know? I think maybe that's, I think that's why their relationship works is cause like my dad is the complete opposite. My dad will say something meaningful once every three to five years. <laughs> that's when he's like, you know what? I will chime in. That's about it. <laughs> I remember one time, I stay over there when I'm back in town most of the times, and I uh, woke up in the morning and I was making a cup of coffee for myself, and I put cream and sugar in that coffee, because that's how I thought I liked coffee. <laughs> My dad just appeared next to me, just fully dressed, tucked in. Like, what are you doing? You own this house and you don't work. Calm down. <laughs> He's just looking at what I had done to the coffee, and he's just looking at it for a while, and then at, just after a minute, he finally just looks at me, gestures to the coffee, and just says, why don't you put a dress on it? <laughs> I've drank black coffee since that day. <laughs> Do I like it? Not at all. <laughs> no, my daddy's love. <laughs> Oh, that's not an ulcer. That's just Pat Kinane letting me know he thinks about me. <laughs> we don't say I love you. We just bleed out into each other's stomachs. That's how you know. That's how you know. In spite of him saying that, he's not like a macho guy. I appreciate that. He's not like a, like a macho dude. He just, they're just both, they're, they're Midwest. They're stuck in their ways. You know how it is. You got you know, parents, older relatives, like, this is how we do it. Yeah, but it's better this way. <laughs> oh, change is the devil. So we just, <laughs> we got to do it this way. Like my dad still, my dad will still have a steak with a glass of milk. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to put it back together inside of you? What's... Some sort of culinary ship in a bottle you're trying to build down there? Hey, I got an idea. Let's get your old racing leathers on. You can cosplay the whole fucking thing. How about that? <laughs> One of the times I was back home and uh, I was going out to eat uh, with some friends. We were going out to a, a vegetarian restaurant. I'm, I'm vegetarian. But technically, I'm pescatarian. But, well, you don't, really, you don't have to say that unless you want to get rid of all your friends. It's really... <laughs> Such an efficient way to cull the herd. <laughs> We're all thinking about going out to eat. What's everybody want? Well, just remember, I'm a pescatarian. Shut the fuck up, Kyle. 
Nobody asked or cares. <laughs> we just figured you'd stay home and lick the yard for whatever nutrients you need. Why don't you go dunk your hand in a fish tank and suck on that for the rest of the night? <laughs> So, so I took, we were going out to this vegetarian restaurant and I invited my dad to go. And he's not like, he's not like macho about stuff. He'll, he'll go to things and he's, he goes, he was actually excited. He's like, oh, that's great. Yeah, I've never had vegetarian food. I'm like, yeah, you have. <laughs> I've been right next to that steak the whole time. <laughs> I took him to this vegetarian restaurant and uh, he ordered a veggie burger. Safe bet for somebody that's unfamiliar with it. Because I could tell he's like, maybe it's meat. It won't be, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, it's a familiar term you went with, I understand. And he, so I ordered a veggie burger. And I, got, I got to watch my father eat a veggie burger for the very first time. And I, you know, maybe without, I don't have kids, so maybe this is what people talk about when you have kids. You get to watch them experience something new. And it, it rekindles, like, oh, that's what like a new thing is like. And it's like it, exciting and endearing to watch. That's what I got, watching my dad eat a veggie burger for the first time. And it was great to see him uh, eat it because he did not like it. And. <laughs> That made it so much more entertaining to watch. Cause I knew he was gonna finish it. Midwest, you finish your food, it's rude if you don't. I don't, I don't care if you don't like it, you, fit, you clean plate, you clean your plate. So I watched that man just reluctantly fight through a veggie burger. Now, he wasn't gonna speak up about it, he just fought. It was weird too, cause he wouldn't use his teeth. I don't know why, he has teeth. They weren't like just on the table, but. He wouldn't buy, I could tell in his head, like, teeth for flesh, this ain't flesh. So he just, he was only using his lips and his tongue, which was a very odd choice. I, just, I, the best way I could describe watching my dad eat a veggie burger is probably like watching a gay guy reluctantly go down on a woman. Just because that's the corner of the orgy he was stuck in when everything popped off. Because, because, you, because, you know, orgies are vicinity-based. It's like musical chairs, you know. When the guy with the starter pistol says, go, you just got to get to what's next to you. And, you know, orgies, they're always like in a house in a cul-de-sac, you know, and it's always, it was always the husband's ideas, but they're nervous. Everybody's oiled up and nude, but the husbands are by the hors d'oeuvre table, second-guessing their plan, you know, just trying to get half masks, making more eye contact with their neighbors than they've ever made in their life. Like, <laughs> Nah, sports, sports, right? Sports, actually, yeah, sports. What is that, hummus? I saw yours, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess you could look at mine. Shit, this is weird. Why did we decide to do this? And all the wives are on this side of the room, you know, with the one gay couple that moved to town, because that's who's going to talk them through it. You know, they're like, like all right, la ladies, listen, this can be a very enriching and rewarding experience. It's nerve-wracking at first. Have a zanny, have a champagne. We're going to get through this together. This could actually open up so many more possibilities for you and your partner. Now, if there are insecurities, those will come out and your relationships may suffer. Diane, oof. But for the most part, this could just be an original, it could really be a growing experience for you and your part. And that's when a guy with a referee jersey and a green NASCAR flag comes in like, and you're off! And then, because everybody's been separate, it's where the gay guys are just surrounded by oiled up naked women going, all right, shit, ladies, just, just hold still. We gotta munch through these boxes to get to that dick. So just hold still. And that's how I watched my dad eat a veggie burger. And so, I think... What your main takeaway right now is, I don't think Kyle's ever been in an orgy. No, I have not. I most certainly, I most certainly have not. But, uh, and it's weird that that's where I jumped to, watching my dad just. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? Uh, it's just a lot mushier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, the videos aren't gonna get you ready. <laughs> What is that, a bean? If you're doing it right, yeah, if you're doing it right. It's fine, we're fine, everybody's fine. <laughs>